Hey everybody, Brooks of Drag Times here. Welcome to the channel. The motto of this video is every pound counts, especially when it comes to racing. If you've seen some of my previous videos, I got my Tesla Model 3, which I've been on a weight savings mission on, recently installing new lightweight wheels right here, which saved about nine pounds per corner over there from T Sport Line. And the cost to save just under 40 pounds on this car with these lightweight wheels and new tires is, well, I think the wheels were just over $4,000 plus a new set of tires as well. So you can see the cost was pretty expensive to chop the weight on this car. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to chop almost 20 pounds off your Tesla by just replacing the 12 volt battery. Now many non-Tesla owners might be thinking, 12 volt battery, what's that? The thing's got a huge battery. Why would you ever need to replace it? Well, case in point, there is a regular 12 volt battery in the Teslas that powers some of the components of the car, uh, accessories and so forth. And Tesla includes a regular uh, lead acid battery. In today's video, I'm installing a lithium ion battery from Ohm U. I got it right there on the floor. I also got my, they got the battery, I got the scale, I got my tools. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through how to install the battery and measure the weight savings that I'm gonna get. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal saving 18 to 20 pounds? Well, in racing, it actually is a big deal. And there's definitely been some races where I've lost or won by just a couple hundredths of a second. And that 18 to 20 pounds definitely could make a difference in those cases. And just to show you how important weight savings is for performance cars, Ford and McLaren go to significant measures to save weight. Carbon fiber wheels. These wheels weigh just 15 to 16 pounds a piece. Those on the Ford GT were actually a $15,000 option to save 40 pounds from the car. Also on the Ford GT, I have the optional titanium exhaust system. So you can see right here, this is made out of titanium. This saves about 25 pounds off the car. When I bought the car, it was an option, $10,000 for that exhaust to save 25 pounds. If you're wondering why McLaren makes the fastest cars is because it's always got the best power to weight ratio. Different things like 19 inch wheels in the front, 20s in the back. You don't need 20s up front. You save another probably 10 pounds per wheel by going with a smaller wheel. There are also some other crazy expensive options on the McLaren 720S and the McLaren 765. I want to put the sheet up here where McLaren details every bit of weight savings they can get with the different options of the car, such as deleting the AC, going with a cheaper stereo with less number of speakers, even some carbon fiber components like a carbon fiber hood on the 765 LT saves under two pounds and is upwards of eight to $10,000 for just those two pounds. Now, of course, there are other benefits of the OMU battery, not just in weight. These batteries are lithium ion. They have almost two to three more life cycles than the standard battery, so it's gonna last a lot longer there's also more power available throughout its lifespan, so less voltage lag, as well as being less toxic for the environment with lithium ion versus lead. So it's just $419 for the OMU battery for the Tesla Model 3. It makes a super inexpensive way to cut weight on your car, add longevity for the battery two to three times what the Tesla battery offers, as well as more voltage across the lifespan. If you want 5% off your OMU battery, enter the drag times code. I'll put a link down in the description so you can get 5% off. All right, so let's get started. Let's get the Ohm U battery installed in the Tesla Model 3. I was told it is very easy. This will be my first time doing it. I'm gonna do it with you so you can watch how to get this installed. I'll measure the weight. I got my scale over there as well. All right, so first to open install, open the doors, roll down all the windows. You need to completely, you need to completely power down the car before you unplug that front battery. And to do that, you go into the settings screen right here, or I think uh, safety and security, power off. Hit that. You also want to turn off Bluetooth on your phone so that the car does not wake back up. Bluetooth off, power down. Roll down the windows, leave the door open. All right, so after you've got the car powered down, the front open, I got my Milwaukee LED light, which is actually nice because it's bouncing off the, off the front and down here so I can see what I'm doing over here. From this point, I'm gonna remove this panel here to get to the battery and let's get it replaced. All right, so suppose we just pull up on this panel here, take this off. There's a couple snaps on this intake for the air conditioner. Very easy, there you go. And now you can see we have access to the battery 
So right now we need to remove the bracket. Let's hold the battery down. We got the positive and the negative. We'll get the bat and then we'll pull the battery out and we will drop the new one in. Let's give it a quick weighing here. Let's see. Power on the scale. Zeroed out. There we go. 11 pounds, two ounces for the... Alright, so let's weigh the stock battery here. That is definitely a lot heavier. There we go, 28 pounds versus 11 pounds. I mean, there is definitely a big difference. Super easy over here. I mean, this is <laughs> pretty tough to curl. I mean, this is good for uh, quarantine workouts, I guess, huh? Look at this thing. I mean, it is, this is significantly heavier. This thing weighs like nothing. I can't even hold it up. Let's get this installed now. There we go. Battery's nice and tight. It also does come with these terminal boots right here, which we have to uh, install over the existing terminal so they fit with these clips. And boom, there you go. That literally takes, I mean, I was messing with the camera and it only took me like 10 minutes. It's gonna, it's a, it's a 10 minute job. Super, super easy to install this battery. Let's check out the car, make sure it still turns on. And then we are good to go racing. All right, so boom, we are ready to go. Car is all booted up and acting normal as ever. All right, so that's a wrap of installing the lightweight battery from Ohm U. Now, this battery is great for replacing all Tesla batteries. If your Tesla's gone out of warranty and you need a 12 volt battery replacement, this is definitely the way to go. It's lightweight and it'll last two to three times longer. If you wanna save 5% off your order, I'll leave a link down in the description, drop in the code drag times to save 5% off your battery from Ohm U. If you like this video, give it, and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, we'll keep the videos coming. We're headed out to the track as soon as we can for updated performance results with the Tesla Model 3 as well as my Tesla Model Y. So make sure you subscribe and be notified. Thanks for watching.